This week at Interior. Secretary Jewell in New York City this week to announce an initiative to expand the National Park Service's telling of America's story. Jewell announced that the National Park Service is launching a theme study to identify important places and events associated with the civil rights struggle of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender Americans. The announcement was made at the Stonewall Inn, the site of the 1969 riots that helped launch the modern gay rights movement. It's currently the only LGBT-associated site that has been designated a National Historic Landmark. The LGBT theme study is part of a broader Obama administration initiative to tell a more complete story of the people and events who have made significant contributions to our nation's history and culture. The National Park Service has other ongoing heritage initiatives, including studies related to Latinos, women's history, and Asian American and Pacific Islanders. To find out more about the National Park Service's theme studies, check out nps.gov. Secretary Jewell joined Second Lady of the United States Dr. Jill Biden in Seattle this week for a panel discussion to spotlight best practices to help strengthen and build 21st century workplaces. That panel comes in advance of next month's White House Summit on Working Families. The panel provided an opportunity for area business leaders to discuss initiatives that will better support the needs of America's working families, businesses, and the economy. As hurricane season gets underway in June, the USGS is launching a new crowdsourcing application that shows coastal changes from extreme storms. It's called iCoast Did the Coast Change, and it'll allow citizen scientists to identify changes to the coast by comparing aerial photographs taken before and after a storm. Analyzing the pictures to identify storm damage will help coastal scientists refine their predictive model of coastal erosion and the damage caused by extreme storms. Check out the new app at USGS.gov. And new images of last week's celebration of the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument. Hundreds of members from the local community and businesses joined together to applaud the president's action to protect the spectacular area in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Secretary Jewell called the area one steeped in culture, history, wildlife, and recreational opportunities. Before the celebration, she joined U.S. Senator Tom Udall, BLM Director Neil Cornsey, and White House CEQ Acting Chair Mike Boots for a hike through the famous Dripping Springs Natural Area. That's this week at Interior. <music>